Hey, it's your boy Chango coming at you with another video. This video is Bill Burr makes fun of Conan's shoes. Uh, Conan O'Brien needs a fan YouTube channel. All right, so yesterday I did a um, Bill Burr Conan O'Brien video. I enjoyed it. There, I, there's more out there. So let me know in the comments if you uh, like this. I do, so I figured I would do another one. So let's get right into it. Why so. do you have athletic soles on your wingtips? <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed. You never that. know. I just These are noticed beautiful. that. These are beautiful, you know, wingtip shoes. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna take these off now. These are beautiful wingtip shoes, and then at the bottom they just have a little like a rubber grip. Yeah, in case a pickup game of hoop. <laughs> he just can take off his tie. All right. Well, you never know. You never know what You're might tall. happen. You're tall. Someone would pick you on the team. All right. I, I, is this? Does this look absurd to all of you? Oh. Oh wait, thank you, sir. Thank you for, for, for leaping to my defense. That whole group over there still thinks it looks stupid. I think... I think he did too. He just wants to be your friend. <laughs> there was too much of emotion. You think this looks stupid? He's like, no! It's like, it didn't require that level. We're talking about souls that should be... Nah, it's fine. That's, yeah. that's where it should have been. Well, anyway. I Gold think, toe socks. I think <laughs> I'm a banker! What are you, a sitcom dad in the 50s? <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Hello, I got everybody. A new, I got a new company car. <laughs> Listen, oh, I... It's great to be white. <laughs> <laughs> I say that every morning when I wake up. <laughs> as all white people do. Yeah. Uh, hey, you know that non-white people, you know the government gives us free gold-toed socks? <laughs> once a month, just for being white. They just fucking hand them out. <laughs> Remember us there come been, election time. There have, been, there have been times when those socks got me through yeah. some really rough periods when Uncle yeah. Sam sends them my way. Yeah. Makes you feel successful. It does, actually. I feel good about these shoes. When your wife makes a good point, do you take off your shoes and point to your socks? <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, do you think every guy walks around with these? Huh? Gold on his toes. You think, you think that's how I win arguments with my wife? You think that's, that's how what I I'm win? down to? <laughs> You point to something you're wearing that you're proud of to win an argument no, with your wife? No, I get along great with my wife now. I just basically, I just, I, I, I don't die on every hill now. I just go, all right, you know, even if it makes no fucking sense to me. I just think like, you know what, it, it's, it's, it's just going to be an argument. I'm going to, I'm going to give in and then we're going to do this dumb shit anyway. So why not just act like I want to do it, you know? And it keeps the peace. I slowly die inside. <laughs> but as we're doing it, I don't need you to act like you care. <laughs> I, you know what? Honestly, oh. I don't really. Yeah. I'm I know. Sorry. So I, I, yeah. yeah. You sounded like you were watching a rescue dog commercial. Aww. 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 You want one? No, no, I, I work too much. <laughs> Gas it. Well, I'm Bill. sure your wife is always right, too. Just <laughs> you know, I, No, no, she is right a lot of the time. Yeah. She is. See how that works? Very nice. <laughs> just, you just agree with them. When it comes to dogs, God, do I love dogs, but they are a commitment. I don't know if you've seen some of my other videos, those of you that are new to my channel, but I do a lot of traveling and it's always a battle trying to figure out what the hell we're gonna do with the dogs. And at this point, they're both old, got two dogs and uh, they're not gonna be around much longer, which sucks, but at the same time, that's less that we have to worry about, right? And, uh, you know, we've talked about retiring overseas and we're never again, right? You get a dog, you're like, it sucks sometimes. And, uh, but then again, do I want to live my whole life without having another dog? I don't know. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. I think it's an uphill battle a lot of times, trying to figure shit out, right? That's the only thing, I mean, a lot of times we end up not going anywhere because it's like we couldn't find a last minute babysitter, or doggy sitter or whatever. And uh, it's rough. But anyways, let's carry on. You talk like this. Ear to ear grin. Have you done, have you done uh, couples counseling? Have you ever done that? No. 
because somebody you can't talk this way and you can talk this way to your therapist but you can't sit there with your wife and say look i just pretend what she's saying which is fucking crazy makes sense and a little part of me dies inside let's all go get cookies you know you can't talk no like you can't that. do that because then you make that person laugh and then as much as they fight it they're on your side i know what you're talking about yeah. you've done that yeah, yeah. If you i've never gone to couples therapy somebody told me like that's everybody he knew that went to couples therapy immediately got divorced afterwards no that's not true well i don't i didn't I'm just repeating what somebody else said. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking said that like I said. I, I didn't come it's up with terrible. that. I'm a couple no, counselor. No, it's not in true. My I just think we need so to you encourage people. You think I said the world was flat? Sorry. Well, until I see real evidence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's like a cereal bowl, evidently. And we're looking, looking down into it. Quite, right. quite Have you talked internet. to someone who believes the earth is flat? Uh, Do you know what you would say to them? Would they be swayed by... Pictures from space, or does that not mean anything to someone who believes the it's Earth? It's all done in a studio, man. They do it over in Burbank. Um, no. Uh, what would I, It would depend on the situation. Right. If it was at night, and we were by ourselves, and I didn't know him, and he just approached me, then I'd be, I would just be like, oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I think you're right. I would just agree with him and make him leave. And he probably wouldn't. He probably, his eyebrows would go up in excitement that he found somebody else that agreed with his way of seeing the world. Right. And then I couldn't get rid of him. Um, I don't know. It's quite a conundrum. And then you'd be with this person for the rest of your life. They'd be yeah. a good friend. Well, what was bad was when I got into conspiracy theory about the banks and the Federal Reserve was you met so few of those. And then those other people with, with their, they just thought because you believed that those guys were a problem that you then thought the world was flat and all this other stuff. It's like, no, I don't, I don't think that. I, I just think this stuff over there. And then they would look at you like you were a sellout. Like there was, there seemed to be like no middle ground with conspiracy theory. You had to be all in with shapeshifters and lizard people. It's just like, no, I'm just saying the Federal Reserve, it's, you know. Right. You, th you were saying you think in some ways our economic system might be a little gamed. A, a lot of Ponzi people, scheme, yeah. And, and a lot of people agree with you. And, uh, and they thought, well, because that's a conspiracy theory, you're in on everything. Yeah, that I thought thing. we didn't land on the moon. Yeah. And stuff like that. So then I, I you know. Yeah, I used to call them the eyebrow raise people because then they come up, dude, like, you know what else? You know what else they come up with? <laughs> so I just sort of like, so I get off and I keep my thoughts to myself. So they went from talking about shoes to talking about moon landings and fucking, not moon landings, but the world is flat and all this other shit. It's crazy how a conversation can go from one thing to another sober at least i think they're sober right i get if they were like fucked up and that happened right stoner thoughts <laughs> but uh they were all over the place and you know what i enjoyed it so i'm like there's more of these videos so again i might i might uh check those out because uh i thought that was pretty entertaining but uh I don't know. The, I said the eyebrow people, right? Where they their eye, they raise their eyebrows when you agree with them, and, and like, you know, obviously a lot of that shit's bullshit. But my stance on all those conspiracies is, if five percent of the, any of that shit is true, then it's a crazy world we live in, right? Crazier than we ever thought, and uh, especially with. Like the Epstein's Island, that shit, that shit's fucking dark, right? Because it's like, how long has that been going on? And it's just now, like, we're like we're, was that shit going on in the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s? Like, when Epstein was in his 20s, was he fucking doing this shit back then? And was there people before him doing the same shit? Like, how long is this island shit going on? And you see all this ditty shit, right? Shit's fucking, it just makes you wonder, like... People that make it big, like celebrities and stuff, it's like, yeah, they made it big, but at what cost, right? Like, what did they have to do? I watched like that Nickelodeon show and that was messed up. I know you fucks didn't come here to watch dark shit or talk about it or listen to it or whatever. So, um, you know, I'm all about funny shit, but every now and then, man, I made, it got me thinking, right? Shower thoughts and like, man, there's a lot of dark shit, right? <laughs> So I, um, I don't know, there's a lot of dark shit, and that's why, I think that's why I like to watch funny shit, right? To kind of like a palate cleanser kind of thing, right? 
He had all his election shit. And I try really hard not to pay attention, but it's hard, man. That shit's all over my feed, front page. Like I go on YouTube to look for funny shit and I see Kamala Harris this and Donald Trump that and the blah, blah, blah and the new VP and fuck, why? <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you did. That's all I really got. You guys take care. Peace out.